Hi everyone, Kim here, and today I'm going to do part one of a three-part series about washing wigs and taking the shine out. So let's get started. Hi everyone, today I would like to show you how to wash your wig. You would get some lukewarm water. Okay, we get our lukewarm water, and we put a little bit of laundry detergent in it. The reason I use laundry detergent for the first time is to make sure I get all the chemicals and things out of the wig. You just pour a little bit in. It doesn't really matter. I use about a half a cap. After I wash my wig for the first time with the laundry detergent, I use shampoo and conditioner after that for a few times. And if it starts to feel real grimy and yucky, then I do the laundry detergent again. After all, your wigs are synthetic, and that's what you use on synthetic clothes. So you got your lukewarm water, and there's your bubbles. You just take your wig and put it in like this. You just swish it around a little bit. You don't want to scrub it real hard. You just want to swish it around to make sure you get everything out of it. You kind of squeeze it just gently. You can pick it up and rub it if you want. Remember, no wringing. You can squeeze, but don't twist like that. That's very bad for your wigs. Then after you think it's clean, I kind of like to help get the suds out. And it feels good to me, so we'll let the water out. And then we will rinse it with cold water. Cold water helps get the bubbles and the soap out, I think, a little better. Warm water just keeps making the bubbles bigger. I don't know why. If you hear cartoons or noise in the background, my little granddaughter's here with me. So after you make sure you have all of the soap rinsed out, we are going to do a softener soak. I just happen to have downy. I put in cold water and about a half a cap. And you can use any kind of fabric softener you wish because whatever you have, that's what your wig is going to smell like. And they smell so good when the wind blows or somebody gets close to you. My husband walked up to me and says, Oh, Kimmy, you smell so good. What is it? I said, My wig. He just kind of laughed, you know. But I let it soak. Let me make sure we get it all mixed up. See the blue water? I let it soak about five or ten minutes. That way it really gets in there and helps it smell really nice. Hi everyone, I'm back. We've had a 10 minute soak. So now we just, once again, take the little stopper out of the sink, squeeze it, and rinse it again. You want to make sure you get all the fabric softener out because it will leave your wig feeling gummy, and we don't want that. So now we just take and we squeeze it from the top to the bottom, making sure we get the water. Then we take a little towel, of course, bigger towel for bigger wigs. We roll it in the towel, and once again, we squeeze. So as you can see, I have a wig stand. I like to use this one for a drying rack. It helps the airflow better, I think. I have since learned 
that if you don't have one of these little heads, you can hang these on hangers. Just fold it over and clip it with a pin. I like to do two across the front. Well, no, I usually do it from the back. That way you don't have the bend in the front. I know what I was thinking. Once again, I remind you, not a professional. Gotta be me and quit trying to be something I'm not. I am not a professional. So I just hang it like this. You're gonna get, you know, it helps it air dry better, I think, you know. Might give it a little more body, I'm not really sure. And then I just hang it in my shower. So we just squeeze it out. Now I like to comb my wigs when they're wet. I think they're easier to do that way. Some people prefer it when they're dry. This is just like I said, my own personal opinion, not a professional. Now, if you have a lot of rats and stuff in your wig, I just take regular old spray-on detangler. This is from the Family Dollar. It was my granddaughter's. I just spray it on my wig, rub it in. Just rub it in a little bit. Okay, then I take my pick. And for the big rats, I go down like this. That helps get them out easier. That's like using your fingers, but I just like the pick. Then I pick it out. Now remember, you always want to start at the bottom and work your way up. I take my brush and I just smooth it out. Short wigs are great for combing out because they don't take no time. Now, I know it probably doesn't make a difference, but I like to comb my wig the way I wear it. It probably doesn't make a difference, but I do it anyways. Now, you can blow dry it if you want. I just leave mine like this. For those of you that didn't hear the story, I'm going to tell you the story again. My wonderful husband, <laughs> God love him, I had gotten a wig from my niece and I didn't know where it come from, you know, because she gave it to me and it was used. I boiled some water on the stove, turned the heat off, put the wig in. That way it kills all the germs and things. And I had no place to dry it. Now, mind you, that was my first wig. I had no drying racks or anything. He suggested put it on the chandelier light above the table. So I did. The next day, he flips the light on. I smell the wig burning. So I went out and got it. I did save it. I was able to pull it down and blow dry it. And it got the frizzies out. I will show you how I'd done that later because I think I showed you once already. But I just let my wig dry, or if you want to blow dry it, like I said, I blow dry mine on cold. That way you don't take a chance of making it frizzy or, you know, burning it up, frying it, whatever. Because if you get them too hot, they will crinkle. Now, if you want, you can blow dry a little bit on high, hot, then use your cold. But when you do that, stand back. Remember, it's your wig. Make it your own until my next video. I have